Do you want to come out and play with me? <laughs> Hi, do you want to come outside and play with me? No, I'm totally kidding. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Demonique and today I have this super easy broken doll Halloween look. If you like this look, don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna do a really simple look. I wanna use the Urban Decay Born This Way and I might use two or three shadows to get this started. Um, I've already done my eyebrows off camera and I primed my skin using my Angel Veil from NYX. Um, I want to get this big buffing brush from Real Techniques and I think I'm gonna go in with Still Shot. I'm in this palette right here. Still Shot and I'm gonna put that in my crease and I'll put it pretty much everywhere. And luckily this has a really big mirror. And then I'm also gonna blow this color out on the sides um, just because I'm trying to go for a baby doll look so I wanna make my eyes look um, bigger. So I'm gonna blow this out as much as possible. I'm gonna uh, deepen this up with, uh, I'm gonna deepen this up with Hell Ride, this color right here. And I'm gonna put this on the in the outer corner. I think I'm just gonna use stranded in this palette. And I'm gonna use my finger, but first I'm gonna spray my finger with some Fix Plus. Actually, I'm gonna take this on my finger then spray it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stop there. All right, so I'm gonna use my Clinique, what is this, Beyond Perfecting Foundation, and I'm just gonna put this all over my face, and I'm gonna contour and everything, and I'm gonna be right back. All right, so I put my foundation on, my concealer, and um, my bronzer and everything off camera, just because you've already seen it before, there's no point in wasting time. Um, but I am gonna contour my nose a good bit. Um, just because I want to get um, a little button nose. So I'm just using my Black Radiance palette um, and I'm using, going with the darkest color. And I'm gonna start here and bring this contour down. And I'm also gonna kind of round it out at the end of my nose just to make it look like a button. Okay, now I need something to blend that out. Just how it. I lose the same thing over and over again. So I'm just taking a clean brush and kind of get rid of this harsh line. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm gonna put on some falsies and some mascara, but then I'm also going to draw fake um, lashes on my bottom lash. Um, let me get some mascara. All right, I'm just gonna use this Too Faced mascara. All 
right, so I'm going to use these lashes. I don't know what they are. I know they're from Kiss. I do know that. Um, where's my glue? So did y'all see um, Desi Perkins, her husband, I think? Um, they did the, like a voodoo doll Halloween um, tutorial. That thing was so scary. Like I was, mm, that gave me nightmares. Hopefully I can work up to that. Right now I'm just gonna do the easy stuff. All right, so while that's dry, I'm gonna use my Wet n Wild pencil, but I'm not gonna put this directly on my lower lash line. I'm gonna drag it down some. So I'm gonna start in this outer corner and I'm gonna bring it down just to make my eyes look bigger. I'm not gonna take it all the way in. So I'm basically just creating a new lash line over here. I'm gonna pop on my lashes. All right, so this next part, I would not advise you to do it this way, but I can't find my white, um, white liner. So I'm gonna use face paint and hopefully I don't mess up my eyes. And I'm gonna put the white paint um, right where my real lash line is and where the black line is. So I'm gonna put it in between. So let me get a brush. So I would recommend using a white pencil instead, but I cannot find mine worth anything. So I'm just gonna use paint. I don't know if this is working as well. Let me use this liquid liner and see if that works better. Yeah, that worked much better. So I'm just gonna go to the other side and do the same thing. And I try to get as close um, to my inner like lash line as possible. So I'm kind of getting it on my, word I can't remember. And now I'm gonna take This NYX matte liquid liner, I'm gonna make um, fake lower lash and I'm gonna make them really long. So I'm gonna start where I drew that um, black line. I'm gonna make um, little lash hair. So you see I messed up right here, so I have to wait for it to dry and then I'll go back in and clean it up. I right, now I'm gonna put on a lot of blush. I'm actually gonna use a few different colors. Um, first, I'm gonna start with Mellow Wine from Wet n Wild, and I'm gonna put a lot of this on my brush. I'm using the wrong brush. So. And I'm gonna pat it here, right on the apples of my cheek. Actually, I may not need, this um, blush is really pigmented, so I may not need multiple blushes. I think that's pretty even. And now I'm gonna take, I'm gonna start doing the cracks in my face. I'm gonna take a really thin brush paintbrush like this and I'm gonna start making little cracks going down my forehead I'm actually gonna put a hole on my face over here so I'm going back in with my face paint I think I got this from Walmart 
And I'm gonna do this really light handily at first, just in case I mess up. And I'm not doing this in any particular way or fashion. I'm just making it look like I was a doll that was dropped, a porcelain doll that was dropped. I'm gonna go back in later and darken this up after I get where I want the cracks to be. All right, so this paint is taking forever, like it keeps drying out every single time I... Oh, that's how you feel? Right, so I stopped using the paint because it was drying out a lot. So I'm just gonna go back in with this um, liquid liner and I'm gonna go over the cracks and make them um, darker. So I have to be really careful uh, doing this. Use a white hand. And I'm doing my best to only use the tip of this eyeliner because that's the thinnest part. I don't want the cracks to be too thick. If you are recreating this look, you can do more cracks in the face if you want. It's obviously up to you. Okay, I think I'm gonna stop there. That's good enough for me. So right here on my on the side of my face, I'm going to start making a design to where it looks like a hole, like that part of my face is broken out. Uh, so I'm gonna go back in with my Wet n Wild pencil and I'm gonna sketch out an outline. And actually, this isn't sharpened enough. Let me find another, uh, let me find another pencil. I'm gonna go back in with my liquid eyeliner. Just cause I need a more precise line. And I'm just making the outline for the hole. So I'm gonna end up filling this in with black. And this is just some random shape that I found on Pinterest. I wanna color this in with this liner. I was gonna use paint for this but this paint is just driving me nuts. 
I'm just gonna waste my eyeliner. All right, so after an hour, not really, um, I have this hole filled in with the liner. And so this is just supposed to look like a piece of my face is missing. And I'm also gonna connect, connect um, the cracks to it. And I'm also gonna put another hole over here. Right, so I'm going to do a, the same thing over here. Um, it doesn't really matter what shape you do. The missing pieces. And I'm going to put this hole um, back into my hairline gonna be a pain to get all this all on a all right so I want to do like the puckered up lip look so I need to put some more foundation over my lips and I'm gonna do an outline of a new set of lips Get back to my foundation. I'm gonna focus this on the outer edges. That's the only part I need to cover up. Right, so I'm using this Wet n Wild Gel Lip Liner and I'm just going to do a faint outline of my new lips. Like I said, I kind of want like a puckered up look. I'm going to overline. This lip liner had a time trying to get through the foundation, but it's fine. I'm gonna keep moving. Um, now I have this Revlon something HD Twilight. I'm gonna fill in.
All right, so I think I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna do my hair, I'm gonna put a bow in, um, and then we'll be all done. So I went off camera and I put this bow in my hair and I kinda just made my hair look super crazy. Uh, I'm gonna highlight my nose just to give that button nose look. I wanna put a lot of highlighter on the tip of my nose. I might put some over here too. And just to give my lips something else, just because the color wasn't showing up enough for me because of the foundation, I'm going to use some of this NYX glitter and it's pink. And I'm going to use a flat brush. I'm going to pack this on my lips. Right, and this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed my broken doll look. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up.